Like, no, it wasn't for you. <laughs> I wrote this song because I bought this this pedal many years ago. First, I bought my loop pedal. Then I bought this other pedal, and it had like this really deep voice. And I was like, oh shit, that's nice. And I was sitting in my room, just like, thinking, um, and just like dreaming of one day maybe playing on a stage where I could like have big bass like that and just rumble. And um, and that was how Running Away, that, that song was born like that from that deep voice. And then there was obviously this lady's voice. <clears throat> and uh, I had a band practice and I called the band around and I was like, yo, I've been working on this new, this new song. It's got this lady's voice and it's, it's like, what a man. And they weren't so sure. They were like, oh, we're not sure if you can sing with that voice. That's really weird. Um, and then Mo, Mo said, he was like, you know, it's kind of dope though. It's kind of like a cool, it's kind of a cool sound. Maybe you could do it. I don't, maybe you should keep writing this song. So anyways, I kept writing this song, finished the song. And look at us now. It's like 10 years later. And this is still one of my favorite songs ever. And it's a lovely thing to be able to play this track. And it's a song about my home. It's a song about South Africa. And um, I think... Uh, I, love, I think a lot of bands have a very unfortunate situation where the biggest song that they've ever made is also like the song that they least enjoy playing and they normally often they hate the song or they don't want to play it but the crowd want it and we don't have this problem at all this is for sure still one of my favorite songs ever and I, I hope that we get to play this song right until the very end um, so without further ado this song is Down South <laughs> I'm 
Oh, 